Let's take a closer look at two rare diseases that can affect your kidneys, ICMPGN and C3G. ICMPGN stands for Immune Complex Membranoproliferative Glomerulonephritis. C3G stands for C3 Glomerulopathy. Both damage the kidneys, lowering their ability to filter waste and fluid from your blood. There are actually two different types of C3G. C3GN, which stands for C3 glomerulonephritis, and DDD, which stands for Dense Deposit Disease. These diseases happen when part of your immune system, called the complement system, doesn't work the way it should. In fact, the C in C3G stands for complement. The complement system, which you are born with, is also called the complement cascade. It's made up of proteins in your blood that help your body fight off germs and viruses. In C3G and ICMPGN, the complement system is overactive and its proteins build up in the tiny filters in your kidneys, called glomeruli, which results in kidney damage. A kidney biopsy is the only way to be sure if you have C3G or ICMPGN and to see which kind of C3G you have. In a biopsy, doctors remove a very small piece of kidney tissue and look at it under a microscope. The damage to kidney tissue looks different between C3G and ICMPGN. The problem in your complement system that causes C3G and ICMPGN could be something you were born with or something that you developed later in life. You can get C3G or ICMPGN at any age. Of note, C3GN and ICMPGN are more common in adults, while DDD is usually more common in children and adolescents. There are no FDA-approved treatments currently available for C3G or ICMPGN, but researchers are studying possible new treatments for the future. People with C3G or ICMPGN can slow the damage to their kidneys with medicines, eating healthy foods, being active, and not smoking. Your doctor may start by prescribing medicines like ACE inhibitors and ARBs to help control protein in the urine and blood pressure. If you've been diagnosed with C3G or ICMPGN, talk to your doctor about your options to participate in a clinical trial. Learn more about how to slow down kidney damage at kidneyfund.org.